very easy palak paneer recipe with one unique ingredient we usually don't use this ingredient in palak paneer but the result is just amazing hello everyone welcome to fullhouse kitchen today we are going to make palak paneer with fresh baby spinach leaves so here i got around 300 g of baby spinach which i nicely washed two three times and then we are going to boil this spinach with 1 cup of water for around 10 minutes if you are using big spinach leaves then please wash it well and do chop it for baby spinach leaves we don't need to chop it and we just need to boil it until our spinach is uh, cooked for around uh, 8 to 10 minute and our spinach is looking good so now we'll keep it aside and let it uh, uh, be cold for at least 5 to 7 minute and then we are going to make a puree out of it just put it in a blender and make a puree out of it now just start making our curry for that here i got around 1 tablespoon of oil and little bit of butter and into goes some dry spices one bay leaf a small piece of cinnamon stick one cardamom and two three piece of cloves and 1 teaspoon of cumin seed we'll cook our seasoning well and then add one big size of uh, onion finely chopped add little bit of salt into onion which helps onion to cook fast and we are going to cook the onion for around 1 to 2 minute until it's uh, translucent and the dry spices and uh, butter is completely optional if you want to avoid it you can avoid it instead of uh, dry spices you can add garam masala towards the end and butter is completely optional anyway our onion is looking good so now we are going to add ginger and garlic paste here i'm adding around 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and we are going to cook ginger garlic paste along with the onion for another 1 to 2 minute until it's nicely mixed once our ginger garlic is nicely cooked we'll add some dry spices so here i'm adding around 1 and 1/2 teaspoon of coriander and cumin powder mix 1/2 teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1/2 teaspoon of red chili powder Just give it a nice mix, and if you feel your masala is too dry, then add some water, which will help our masala to cook nicely. Cook the masala for around one one and half minute, and then add tomato. Here I'm adding canned chopped tomato, but you can add fresh tomato. Around two tomatoes uh, nicely chopped, or you can add uh, one tablespoon of tomato puree. So either way, you can uh, add tomato, add some water, and let. all the masala spices mix everything well and let it allow to cook until the oil separates has been cooking for around 3 to 4 minute and as you can see the oil has separated so now it's time to add paneer i've cut the paneer into cubes and we are going to uh, cook the paneer with the masala for around 2 minute 1 uh, and 1/2 to 2 minutes so that uh, paneer is nicely soft and uh, nicely combined with the masala This step also helps uh, uh, to avoid deep frying the paneer. And now our paneer looks good. It's, I've been cooking for two minutes, so now it's time to add our spinach puree. For 300 grams of spinach, here I've added around 250 grams of paneer, and this should be enough for six to eight serving. So now we are just going to combine everything, let it all come to boil, taste your curry, and add salt. So here I'm adding salt and chili powder accordingly and here I'm adding kashmiri lal mirch which is good uh, which is not spicy at the same time it gives a nice uh, color and at the end here I'm adding kas- kasuri methi so I've got around 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi nicely rub it with uh, your hand and then add it it does add lot of extra flavor into the spinach So your palak paneer is ready now and it's up to you how rich you want to make. If you want to make a very nice rich and thick palak paneer you should be adding cream. But I need to use my special ingredient which I mentioned earlier. So for that I need a nice uh, flowy uh, consistency of the curry so I'm adding milk. And now allow the curry to boil nicely with all the milk and everything as you can see the color of the curry looks lovely and you can see the consistency is quite uh, flowy runny consistency it's not thick palak paneer and now it's time to add my special ingredient which is 
the bundi the bundi you use for raita the salty bundi and it is made of besan which is gram flour so it adds up a lot of uh, extra flavor to the palak paneer and we don't have to cook any further we just add the bundi and switch it off because bundi will soak all the extra uh, excess water from the curry and the curry will become nice and thick to add an extra flavor just cook uh, one teaspoon of cumin seed two to three cloves of garlic into two to three teaspoon of ghee and add it uh, on top it really adds a nice garlicky touch to the spinach which really goes well i hope you like this recipe if you feel your uh, curry is uh, thick uh, after once it's cold then you can always add some warm water or warm milk to it i hope you like this recipe please do give it a like if you like this recipe and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching